Well, I thought maybe we'd start with uh, just a little bit on on Richard Lewis. Um, I mean, clearly mm-hmm. news from a few days ago, his passing, he had, you know, this is someone who had struggled for many, many, many years with addictions, but it, it had gotten over that, gotten sober, and but had announced a while back, maybe a year or two ago, that he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's, and I think that he actually ended up dying of a heart attack, but had sort of had this um, a renaissance of sorts as uh, on the cast of Curb Enthusiasm, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was, you know, I'm sure a lot of people out there have seen have seen Larry David's uh, statement about him. They were born in the same hospital three days apart. They've been best friends forever. You know, sort of one of these things where Larry David, you know, it wasn't like throw him a bone, but it was like, I'm going to help you get back on your feet by putting him on the last five or six seasons of this show. Uh, maybe even longer. He's probably been on more than that. I think it's longer because, I I mean, as we've covered, I'm way behind on yeah. your enthusiasm. I remember Richard Lewis being on there. Yeah. relatively consistently maybe not at the very beginning but i remember watching that show and be like hey it's richard lewis who in yeah. my mind is a legend and i want to say a couple of more things about that but you know uh um, yeah so just to tie tie that up and I, yeah we should talk a little bit about his er- earlier career but he was on this last sunday's episode yeah and so it will end up being of course the last thing that he appeared on before i don't know i presume he, he recorded other episodes but it, it was just very odd the running thing between him and Larry David in the past episode was him t- telling Larry how he was going to give him all his money when he died. And Larry didn't want it. Larry said, no, you know, no. do something else with it. I don't want your money. I think you should do something else with it. He said, no, I've already written it in my will. It's there. So this is a very odd sort of co- connection m- moment there. But yeah, I-, I say all that to sort of bring up the fact that, y- yeah, this is a television show, but you could see the connection between those two when they are on screen together and it's just nice to see him appreciated now for what was a very very long career and there'll be a whole generation of people that only know him from curb and not from his other stuff yeah right that was one thing i was going to mention on this you know seeing a number of the headlines about his death mentioning curb your enthusiasm specifically and i thought to myself wait i I, i've known who richard lewis is (laughs) my entire life yeah, that's what I feel like. I feel like I've known who he is my entire life. Then I started thinking, like, why? You know, I, I started yeah. wondering what was what was the first thing with Richard Lewis in it that struck me in in my lifetime. Um, do you know what it was? I, I looked. I had to look into it. I'm gonna guess Robin Hood Men in Tights. No. Okay, <laughs> that's what it is for me. Anything but love. Oh, okay. the short-lived, relatively short-lived sitcom. Um, I think it was from like 1989 to 1991 or 92 or something. I think oh, it had okay. four seasons, abbreviated first season. I mean, I, I I hardly even remembered the name of the show, but it made an impression on me as a child, basically, starring yeah. Richard Lewis and Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, that's right. I did see a tribute from her saying, you know, how wonderful he was. And I didn't realize that's what it was from. Okay. Yeah. And then, of course, he's got credits like Men in Tights. And looking at his IMDb, he was in all kinds of stuff a little bit. Yeah. You know? And um, there is a way in which it's like, you know, 52 episodes of Anything But Love, some film credits, sprinklings of appearances for one episode on TV shows, and then Curb. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, I guess it, it is kind of fair that um, the number of episodes with Curb and the recency and all that was going to be mentioned. Um, yeah, part yeah, of me wants to go... for those that haven't seen it, it's worth going to revisit some of his stand-up stuff. Very good, very oh, good yeah. satirical uh, comedian. So yeah, we're, we're worth re- revisiting. Very. I think it was that too, you know, because particularly when we were younger, there was a period where stand-up comedians got really famous yes for a minute um beyond what they are now and richard lewis was in that group definitely you know um also for what it's worth seeing some of this stuff on social media you know not just from other big name celebrities but from just other people yep. maybe vaguely associated with the industry or i saw uh, my journalist ben collins posting things um apparently he was just like an incredibly kind human being yeah who would like send text messages to journalists saying like (laughs) keep up the good work 
I love <laughs> uh, this article was fantastic. Like just just kind of out of nowhere, which is yeah, I don't know, wonderful. So it is a real loss and yeah, no, I, 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 absolutely. I I anticipate we'll have a few more times to catch him as curb uh, season tricks along. So yeah, check that check that out if you can.